I've got Megatron dead center in my viewfinder. Yeah, sure you have, pal, sure you have. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And today, we're going to be looking at the Fans Toys FT-53 Park Or, their version of the G1 Autobot, can't shoot for shit. cliff jumper. Let's get to it. Okay, so starting with the packaging, we've got the usual lovely artwork on the front with him in a nice dynamic pose and uh, the little Porsche chibi mini little um, Porsche that I've got here, um, FD53, parkour, fans, toys, that usual um, embossing that they do on the image. Um, on top, um, parkour with the alt mode at the bottom, same thing. Parkour on the side and the other side as well. And on the back, we've got an image of like their 3D render of it and his bio, which is actually quite funny <laughs> when you, uh, to read. And we've got some Im product uh, images of him, you know, just standing, you know, in various poses. And his alt mode, which looks lovely, I must say. Um, I really like this. You know, some people, uh, I know they, they wanted like the kind of the real world kind of uh, version um, of the Porsche. I think it's a Porsche 928. Um, yeah, they, but um, no, but I prefer this. And um, and the result at the end is, is just really nice. And just, yeah, the usual barcode and yeah, and other little details at the bottom. So let's put that to a sign. Straight out of the box, um, he's packed uh, with his waist in the opposite way. So all you have to do is just rotate it 180 degrees. And as for his arms, just um, just rotate it here and rotate it here. And that's basically it, really. Yeah, so he's ready to go. And I have to say that I, I've transformed this so many times because I really like this figure. And um, as you can see, I've got a lot of paint scrapage. Ah! So yeah, I might have to buy a new. I think I'm gonna buy another one of him of these anyway. So if they're still around, um, still available. So, so um, as for his height, he is five inches and he is 114 grams in weight. His articulation. Uh, let's have a look. His head goes around, can go all the way around, like so. And uh, there's no, oh, there, yes, there is up. Yeah, you can, you can look up quite a fair bit, like that. Okay, there's no downward. His arms um, can go all the way around on the shoulder, like so. Can come out, like that. He's got elbow bend here, yeah, more than 90 degrees. He has got wrist swivel and the fingers are all molded together, but they do, uh, if I can get them out, yeah, they do rotate at the bottom knuckle there and thumb, nothing on the thumb. And let's have a look, has he got a ab crunch? No, he doesn't have an ab crunch, uh, but he does have waist swivel, so that's good. Uh, his leg can, if you just lift up the skirt here, his leg can come out about that much, can go forward this much and back about that much. And while we're here, he can bend his knee um, quite a ways back there. Yeah, he has got thigh swivel and what else has he got? Um, it's got a bit um, ankle tilt. Yeah, it's got some ankle tilt up and back. And yeah, and that's that's about it. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's fucking turn like that. Yeah, if you, you can utilize that in some in some way. But yeah, 
quite a possible guy. All right. Now, let me just bring this camera down. Let me bring it down and bring it down. All right now, for accessories, he has his blaster. He has his blaster. It's quite nice. It's got a, a tab right at the back there. So you just open up his hand. He's got a slot right at the back of his hand and you just put it in and just push in and he will hold that very securely. All right, so no chance of him dropping that. And also he has a bazooka. His bazooka, which he tried to um, shoot at Megatron and he failed miserably, but um, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, handle can move up. Yeah, and um, it's got a usual tab at the back. And then you've got this, the, gun, the cannon stand here. Yeah. And um, we could just put this up and get his other hand. Just get, open up his hand. And again, um, slot at the back of, the, of his hand. Just put it in. I've got to straighten his arm because it's, it's quite a long weapon. So let's just... Put it in like so. Straight on his arm. And that should go in. There you go. Alright. And he's all armed up. Okay. There you go. Alright. Now, other things he comes with. He comes with three faces. Yeah. So, um, so he comes with just kind of like a not normal looking face. Yeah, no kind of expression. And the other three, he has um, a kind of, like he's saying something, or he's forgot to say, or he's about to say something, he's forgotten what to say. All right, he's got the happy one, happy cliff jumper, like, hey, what's happening? And, um, and he's got like the angry, kind of shoddy face. Like here, all right. And to change out the face, what you have to do is just just push forward, like so. Comes off very easily. And let's put on which one should we choose? Uh, yeah, let's put the let's put the shouty one on. Okay. Oops. Just put it forward, and just slides just slides on like that. Very easy, okay. All right, and there you have that. Yeah, some other um, accessories he has are these skis, but that's more for his um, alt mode, his car mode. So we'll look at those later on. So, for comparisons, we have Vans Toys Hunk, their version of brawn and you can see how those two look together all right next up we have the fans toys willis there you go let me just bring the camera up a bit there you go you can see those two all right next up we have got Fans Toys Phantasm, their version of Mirage. See how they look. All right. And we have Magic Squares Light of Peace 2.0. This is the unpainted version. up a bit let's go put you back put you back there you go all right and see how they see how they look you know what let's bring let's bring them all back again let's bring them all let's bring them all in okay you come to the front you're the star you're the star so yeah let's put you here you here and can put you 
here and let's just bring the camera down bring it down bring it down bring it down yeah about there okay so there you go comparisons let's just get started so i'm going to come back here um i'm going to unclip this bring this back um, bring this to the side as well all right I'm gonna take the wheel I'm gonna bring this down like that okay just bring this up again like that just for now come to the other side do the same thing um, so unclip this like that same here yay in the camera there <laughs> Right, open up the wheel, unclip that here, and just bring that to the side like that, and just bring that there for now. All right, now, here, let's bring this around here, you're going to just put your nail in here and just open this leg up like that. All right, and what you're gonna do is this hinge here is gonna come all this is gonna come forward to here and it's gonna bring this whole leg around, all right? So you're just gonna push this forward, as you can see here, you can see that? Push it forward and bring this leg all the way around, like that, okay? And then you're gonna collapse this leg in, like that, okay? This panel here, make sure it's forward, like so. And then what you're gonna do is now close up the leg. You're gonna close this up. This flap is gonna be underneath like that. And that hinge again, just make sure it's forward like so, all right? And then I'm gonna come around here. Actually, this bumper, this front bumper here, bring this down and just tab it in like so, like so, like so. Nope, it's not in yet. Bring it in. There you go, like so, right? And then from here, this panel here, bring up this panel bring it around and just bring over like that and just squeeze and push down and it will click in. All right, wash, rinse and repeat. Okay, open the leg. <laughs> you can see the, uh, the QC uh, code here just rubbed off because I transformed this so many times. Um, okay, so that's open, open out like that. Bring this this one's a bit tighter on this side, so let me see if I can. Ugh, gosh. Yeah, just, ah, there you go, there you go. Just bring it forward like that. There you go. Ends up like that. Um, collapse the leg in. Bring the leg in like that. Fold it in like so. And then close up the leg. Yeah, so this brings this panel down and then just bring this leg and close it up. What's going on? What's, what's obstructed it? What's obstructed it? Just bring this forward. There you go, there you go. Yeah, like that. And just make sure, just wanna make sure it's all closed up. There you go. Like that, all right? And then spring that forward, come here, bring this panel up like that, swing this around, bring it over, yeah, just, there you go, and we'll click in like that, okay. Front of the bumper, just swing this down because it's on a double hinge, and just tab that in there like so, all right? And you can bring these two halves together. Oops, no, stay forward, stay forward. Yeah, there's a little tab here and with a little hook that's gonna go underneath here. All right, so just bring it together. Okay, just bring these two halves together like so. Like that, yeah, and just pinch it. Like so, and straight, straightens up like that, all right? Squeeze, 
squeeze, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There you go. There you go. All right. Like so. So we end up with that. Rotate the body. 180. All that is all done. Okay. For now. Now, up here with the arms. Um, just uh, bend the arm. Open this panel up. Sometimes it's close. There you go. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Kept pushing it in at the same time. All right, so open up that panel. Okay, collapse the arm on itself like that. It's on a double hinge. And you end up like that. Okay. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. Open up the panel. Like that. Like so. All right. And then just collapse the arm on itself like that. All right. And then what's, what's next? What's next? Um, yeah, leave the arms up like that. Here, untab this, this little section here. Yeah, and it's gonna untab in here. Uh, it's gonna untab in here as well. So untab here and just, just pull here. Yeah, there's a, there's a post here that goes into a hole right there. All right, just bring this up. Yeah, same thing on the other side. Just, just put a spider in there. There you go, so release there. And, and just pull this out. There you go, like that. Okay, and this will release all this. Like that, okay. Right. Um, right, here's something that I tend to forget a lot and it re irritates me. Bring out this flap here, this, yeah? Bring this out, okay? It's got another flap that extends, but we'll do that later. So again, on this other side, just bring this out and just leave that down like that, okay? Now, what's next? Um, 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 right, this arm, the arm is on this red armature here. And what you're gonna do is just gonna swing this back like that, like so. Right, so it's at a kind of like an, like an angle, like an angle like that, yeah. Just enough so that you'll know because, I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna rotate the arm down like that. And this tab here, if I turn it in, it's gonna line up with this, this kind of slot there, all right? So I'll show you, it's just gonna go in like that, all right? Like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Um, take this whole armature, bring it back like that. Rotate at the, sh rotate at the, sh oops, whoops, whoops, sorry, if I'm out of frame, sorry. Rotate at the shoulder, bring the arm down. Yeah, and you can see that this is kind of lined up like so, like that, okay. There you go, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, there you go. All right, it's not that much of a, it's not that uh, secure um, uh, hold anyway. Yeah, but it just kind of keeps it in place for now. Right, so this is where we are at the moment, like that, all right. Now, open this out. This is on a slider. Yeah, these are on a slider. Those screws, those sliders are on. If it's too tight, just, um, if you find this too tight, just get a screwdriver and just loosen those screws a bit. Take this, this section here, swing this all the way around. It's gonna form the, ro the rear fender of the car. All right. Let's bring this down. Just kind of line it up. It's gonna be quite annoying this bit. That's it, back there. Do the same thing on the other side. This one's, I think this one's much easier to, to manage. Yeah, you're much easier to manage. 
There you go. And fix like that. And this one should be about the same. There you go. Like that. Yeah, you want that. Okay. Little note. I've heard um, some uh, a lot of people that um, they found it really hard to rotate this around. What it is, and it felt like it's going to break because it happened to me as well. What it is right here, there's a screw. Uh, there's a screw cover. Pop that off. Yeah, and then there's a screw underneath. Just loosen it. Yeah, you might have to loosen it quite a bit. Yeah, and then it'll be uh, quite easy to manage. All right. So there's that. Take the head. Swing the head back. Like so. And then what we're going to do, are we ready? Are we ready to bring it around? Yes, we are this way. Yes, this way. Ah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, take these things here. All right. All right. Especially if we do this now. Rotate this around like that. So it's like this. Okay. And then tab that in like that. Same on the other side. Take this. Rotate it all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes this has a, a tendency to come to come off. Yeah, but um, it's very easy. It's on a ball joint, so they're very easy to put back on. So very easy, like that, <laughs> like that. Okay. So let me see. Where are you? Where are you? There it is. There it is. Let me just pop that back on. There you go. Nice and easy. Yeah line that up and just yeah and just tap that in and then bring the two halves and bring this together like that okay that's done all right let's just fix a few things up here just make sure that see make sure those are in like that those panels are out like that right at the very center of this um just open up store yeah there's a double hinge Right there just make sure it goes up like that and bring it together okay and this is where and this is where we are at the moment all right bring this up like that okay swing it around do the same on the other side like that okay uh, the doors take out the windows like like so Put that together again. Same thing on this side. Bring the windows like that. It will click into place like that. And then up here, take these little hooks. Just unhook, unhook. Yeah, because it's holding like the windshield in. Yeah, it's holding all this together like that, and it's going to release all that. Okay, right right in the middle of all this for the windshield it's on this kind of uh this double hinge let's see let's see if you guys can see this push this forward no it's not forward yet okay i've got to find a way of doing this so you guys can see it this Ah, let me go here and just swing this around like that. There you go, like that. Just got just, there you go. That's it. It's got to be like that. All right, all right. Okay. Hope you guys can see that. All right. And then take the windshield, bring it back like so, and just clip one side in first. And then the other will follow. There you go. Okay. The windshield can go underneath here. Yeah. Just should just click in. There you go. Hear that click. All right. You know you got it clicked in because like it won't move. It won't come out. All right. That's fixed in. Okay. Let's just straighten this up again. All right. And then, all right, just, just want to do a little quick check around. All right, let's get this roof done. Okay, so you've got this hole here, this hole here, that's gonna be for the back window. You've got this hole here, that's gonna be for the door, right? And this post here, all right? So, and there's a post 
um, inside this window here. What we're gonna do is just gonna line it up and just, just line it up like so. It will, it will find the hole, it will find it, it will find it. Ugh, oh, this windshield's coming down again. Let me just put it back. No worries, it's okay. There you go, let's click this back in. Bring this back up, bring this here, and then there you go, there, it's fun. Found it there. Go on the other side, do the same thing. Just bring it out, bring it in, and there you go, you feel the friction, and that's all tabbed in, all right? At the back, um, tabs here, there's a slot hole there. Just line it up like that, and just, just find where it needs to go. Just squeeze there, same thing. Squeeze here, like that. Okay, and then from here, up top here, just just push down, push down, just, just work it a bit. Yeah, there you go, and it starts to line up. Come on. There you go. Yep, there you go. All right. Like that. Okay. All right, let's just open up the doors again. Right, now, these little panels here just needs to be extended like so, okay, just leave it like that for a second. Same thing on the other side. Just extend these out like that. Right, now, this is the most annoying part of the of the transformation. Sorry, let me just, I just want to clean this up a bit. Yeah, just leave that. All right, this is the most annoying part of the, um, shit, hold on, let me just put this down for a minute. Right, all right, here we go. So you want to angle this, you want to angle this down like this, and and just kind of because what it is, there's a tab that goes up, there's a hook that goes this way and hooks inwards, and yeah, you just have to try and align this all together at the same time. So yeah, and this is the part that's quite annoying. So you feed it in behind like that. You guys can see this, you can see it like that. And then you just twist it in and it should, there, yes, I just felt it click. There you go. Yeah, it just clicks in and that's what you want. All right, let me see if I could demonstrate on the other side. Actually, this side is the one that's hardest. <laughs> yeah, so you feed it in behind like that and then just twist it in, I believe. Yes, it's gone in. That's what you want. All right. Okay, hope you can see that. And then now just take the doors, just close them up like so. Yeah, like that. And this side, just bring it together like so and just do a little clean up. Oh, this one's come undone again. Come on. Always the way, always the way. Yeah, that's up. that one's gone in. Feed this one underneath. Come on. Yes, that goes in. And this one goes in. There you go. There you go. And come together. One part of the transformation I cannot set, yeah. Ah, now it's clicked in. And yeah, that's it. That's it, that one's perfect. Other side. Let's get this one in a 
as well. Come on, please get in, get in, get in. We'll click in. Ah, right. Yes, there, 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 there. There you go. There you go. And just click this all in. There you go. There you go. And there you have it. Parkour in his alt mode. Yeah, and it's a nice little cute little alt mode it is. Okay, so before we get to comparisons, um, in his alt mode, he has these accessories, these skis, okay? And they're quite easy to put on. And just um, got this kind of round section here. That just can, and the wheel just goes in between there. It just hooks in like that. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, just hook them in, hook them in and hook this in. Come on, let's go, let's go. There you go, all right. And there he has his skis for that one episode where he had them, all right. Also, for the weapons, what you wanna do with his bazooka uh, for storage, just bring the handle back, bring the stand back like that, okay. And his blaster, just uh, take the handle back like this and this front kind of like magazine thing you just want to shift it to the side like that okay and what you want to do is there's this little nub here kind of this nub here thing here and you just want to push that into this little square bit here all right and that will just fit in like that and then this got that little slot right there it's gonna go on top of there and it goes like that all right and there you have it okay so for comparisons we need to put him back without all this stuff so first up we have um, the fans toys hunk the version of brawn okay next we've got fans toys Willis, the version of Hound, like so. All right. Um, fans Toys Phantasm. Let's place them about here, like so. Let's come forward a bit, come forward a bit. Yeah, you guys need to come forward a bit because the big daddy's gonna come along. We have Magic Squares Light of Peace. 2.0 with the MP10 trailer. I've got any shot. Yeah, let's put you back there. Let's angle you back there. There you go. All right. And you can see how that how that all looks. Yeah. And that's a good shot, I think. All right. Let's put him about. Let's see if you see prime there. There. There you go. All right. Comparisons. So there you have it, Fans Toys Parkour. This is definitely the best looking cliff jumper on the market. This has been a long time coming. There are some decent cliff jumpers out there, you know, different iterations out there, but they never seem to hit the, the mark. Uh, this one, it ties up really well. I love the chibi race car mode. I didn't think I would, but I really like this. I really like this. Come on, it's cute. It's cute. Even his robot mode looks cute. And I, and I really don't like this character, but like now I'm just really warming to him now. Yeah, because of this. It's turned out a lot better than I expected. He will, he will go very well with your MP45 Bumblebee if you have him, which I'm not really a fan of, so I don't own one. I have the original MP21 Bumblebee, and I prefer that one over the MP45, to be honest. Which brings me to Fans Toys doing their own take of Bumblebee. You know, I think they've already done it. 
to be honest. And, and it's on their workstation, just waiting for the right time to release it under Takara's radar. They may have to release it under that, that alternative brand that they had uh, called Robot Paradise um, that they've released with the Acoustic Wave. But I've got a feeling they've done it already. My only gripes with this figure is the elbow joints get really loose quickly and so you have to use some uh, floor polish or uh, kiki to tighten them up. There are a few areas within the figure that will get loose over time so you'll have to either have to um, use full polish or kick them up as well or see if you are able to tighten them up with some um, with the screws so there you have it the fans toys ft53 parkour if you like this video press that like button share it subscribe why not and i'll see you next time <laughs>